Your meal, your choices with McDonald's dollar menu. So whatever happened to fast food dollar menus? Hint, the money you saved was money that never made it into the big chain's coffers. So gone are the days of rifling through the couch cushions for loose change, because these days it's not going to get you much. Why don't you let me get a sip for 15 cents? Keep the change. Hey, it's my lucky day. A penny. Yeah, luck. Just ran out! We can all admit that food tastes just a little bit better when we don't have to empty our wallets to get it. Amen. Dedicated discount menu items typically range between $1 and $5, and Wendy's is credited with introducing the modern value menu in 1989, and the concept of semi-permanent discounts has persisted today at almost every major chain. Some companies were late to the game, like KFC, only introducing $5 fill-ups in 2009. Some entries have come and gone, like Subway's $5 footlong, which ended in 2012. But the rocky history of Restaurants offering single-digit deals boils down to the fact that lower prices don't really make money, but they do make people want to come into the restaurant. In the first four weeks of McDonald's rolling out its original dollar menu, customers were spending an average of three cents less per purchase, which meant a lot less McMoney in Ronald McDonald's pocket. Loyal fans love them, even if franchisees hate them, and it's all part of the sometimes disastrous dollar menu story. Is that good? It sounds bad. Wendy's Super Value Menu. I want some in the entire Wendy's restaurant. Huey Lewis once sang that it was hip to be square, but it was Dave Thomas and his square burgers that first got hip to the idea of saving folks a buck. Wendy's needed a way to pour water on their reputation of being an expensive eatery, since even back in the 1970s, Wendy's price of 55 cents for a Dave's single was considerably higher than the U.S. average hamburger price of 30 cents. Jesus, why is it so expensive. Enter the first nationwide dollar menu. Wendy's 99 cent super value menu sent a shock through the menu boards of the major fast food chains back in 1989. Delicious discounted deals on the menu included an 8 ounce chili, a 16 ounce frosty, and the timeless junior bacon cheeseburger. The deal lasted a quarter century before the demise of the dollar deals from Wendy's menu. Over the years, Wendy's has played with other ideas like the $5 biggie bag and four for four dollars deal, but the original super value menu remains the gold standard for getting your Wendy's fix at a reasonable price. Take your hat off, boy, that's a dollar bill! Taco Bell. Eric, he starts a crying in Taco Bell. Going back to the days of big hair and parachute pants, Taco Bell has a history of providing its customers with deals, and it dates back to Taco Bell's original value menu that launched in the late 1980s. The rollout included the introduction of free fountain drink refills and a 59, 79, and 99 cent promotion that offered a regular taco for 59 cents, a supreme taco for 79 cents, and a big beef taco for 99 cents. Folks flocked to the tasty taco fiesta, and in the promo menu's first 12 months on the market, it generated a 35% increase in sales at Taco Bell. The concept has been tweaked in the decades since, like the 2010 debut of the $2 deals menu that featured the Gordita Supreme and two kinds of burritos. Things changed again four years later, and $2 deals was revamped to Dollar Cravings, where 11 different items were on the money-saving menu, including a Fritos burrito and two types of mini quesadillas. Quesadilla? Mm -hmm. Yet again, the end of 2018 found a new beginning as the menu morphed into the $1 to $5 mix and match menu that we now know as the Cravings menu. In the years to come, whatever it's called and whatever it offers, we're sure Taco Bell will stick with these dinero saving deals. We can't stop saving money. First time here? Well, what are you waiting for? Take a quick second to hit that subscribe button. Everyone else is doing it. Thanks so much. The show goes on! Burger King. One waffle, yeah? While Wendy's and Taco Bell were some of the first out of the gate in the discount menu race, the royalty over at Burger King took their time in catching up to the idea. Almost a decade after the fact, BK finally said, have it your way, to the customers looking to pinch some pennies and introduced the 99-cent Great Taste menu in 1998. It featured seven straightforward items like drinks, fries, and mini burgers that were listed for just under a dollar, which would be just under two bucks in today's 
dollars. But the king had a conundrum as customers started avoiding the regular menu that made all the money in favor of the dollar deals. I didn't see that coming. And so the company had to start upping the value of its value menu. In 2000, it was renamed to the BK Cravers menu, and by 2002, it was again renamed the BK Value menu and expanded to 11 items, including a grilled sourdough burger. They tweaked it yet again in 2006, getting back to basic items like onion rings and Whopper Juniors. The value menu still exists today, but the 2022 rollout of Burger King's mix and match $5 your way meal might signal that the king is looking to simplify the whole process, since changing the menu so many times probably gave his highness a headache. It's too much! McDonald's. Uh, hello? Yes, welcome to McDonald's. Can I help you? If you thought BK was late to the party, then Ronald McDonald must have tripped over his clown shoes while putting together their dollar menu. The Golden Arches was four years behind Burger King's slow start when the McDonald's value menu was finally unleashed in 2002. But despite being so far behind, they still ran into the same problems. Customers liked it better than the full menu. It too then went through a series of changes, like changing the name from value menu to dollar menu and more in 2003, and adding a few items priced higher than a buck so they could recoup some profit. McDonald's finally dropped the dollar menu entirely in 2013, and the burger brains at Mickey D's spent five long years retooling the concept before it returned as the one two three dollar menu in 2018. But the new lineup eventually came under fire too, when a viral TikTok video from September 2023 pointed out that the one, two, three dollar menu doesn't actually have any one dollar items listed on it. How is that even possible? I don't know. Nothing makes sense anymore. At this rate, you might as well pony up the big bucks for a Big Mac and save yourself the big hassle. I'll have the Big Mac, please. Great joy. White Castle. Put Ow. that back. No eating until you get to White Castle. Yo, let's roll. No dollar menu, no problem. After all, who needs a dollar menu when you can simply have affordable items? I wouldn't stress about it. Skipping the the whole process seems to be the strategy for White Castle, which has never introduced a full-time value menu, and that's really because they never needed to. Typically, the average price of fast food value menu items sits around a dollar and a half, and at White Castle, the original slider, jalapeno slider, and cheese slider all sit at or below that price point. We should note that the likely trick to keeping the purchase price down on White Castle's menu is the fact that they keep everything small. There's no baconator or quarter pounders on this menu, but that's also the trick to dollar menus since all of their items are small and therefore cheap too. With regular menu items at value menu prices, it's no wonder Harold and Kumar were able to survive that road trip. That hit the spot. That was the best <laughs> meal of my life. Domino's. Have you ever uh, hand tossed a pizza? No. Saving a few bucks isn't just for the burger brands. Other types of chains are looking to get in on the action, and that includes getting a value price on a pizza. Domino's has had a few dedicated discount menu items and promotions over the years, but they've continually decreased or increased or sometimes just disappeared. In early 2023, the classic $7.99 carryout deal got a drop in size and a decrease in number. In addition to only being available through digital ordering, the deal now only includes the option for a three-topping medium or an eight-piece of wings that used to be a ten-piece. In 2022, the Domino's mix-and-match deal for pizza and pasta increased from $5.99 to $6.99 after it hadn't seen a price change since 2009. They seem to have combated these price raises with the brief return of Boost Week in June of 2022, a deal that disappeared for two years after a successful run in 2019 that saw all online online pizzas decreased to 50% off for the week. Discount? Sometimes we just want a break from burgers. And if you time it right, it'll be a break for your bank account, too. Can't say no to that. Duncan. Do I look familiar? Domino's isn't the only non-burger joint getting in on daily deals. The coffee king from Massachusetts wants to save you a few Duncan dollars, too. It was 2018 when Duncan dropped the donuts from its name to focus on the coffee game, but they still wanted to provide fast
fast, affordable foodstuffs for their clientele. Enter the GO2's value menu with all-day breakfast options that consisted of a pair of wraps, English muffins, or croissants at price tiers of two, three, or five dollars. In February 2020, it expanded to include a four-dollar option for two bagels. But exactly two years later, franchises got word to pull the plug in February 2022. How dare you! Duncan then switched the savings over to a snacks and wraps section of the menu with several smaller items where everything sits below the $5 price point. Options include the Wake Up Wrap, a mini bag of peppercorn bacon, and three varieties of cream cheese mini bagels. It's good to know even morning people have somewhere to go for money-saving munchies. Don't mind if I do! Sandwich Savings Subway has so much new, I couldn't fit it all in the last ad. Grabbing a good deal from burger joints, coffee shops, and pizzerias is all well and good, but a sandwich is the quintessential quick lunch solution. And a couple of major sandwich chains have tried their hand at making things less expensive. The sandwich artists at Subway first took aim at affordability in 2008 with the $5 footlong campaign, but it was discontinued after only five years. It came back briefly in 2017 before morphing into a two foot longs for ten dollars deal in 2020 and then getting put back on the shelf uh, isn't that the same thing looking at another sandwich mainstay the meat magnates over at Arby's were founded in 1964 but never had a value menu until the one dollar value menu in 2020 it didn't last long either eventually being ditched for the two for seven dollar everyday value meal Arby's isn't there anywhere else we can eat budget menus wouldn't be complete without some budget beverages. So give this video a thumbs up as we look at an entry that didn't quite make the cut since it's technically only for beverages and not a full menu on its own. But McDonald's dollar drinks still gets a shout out for pouring up some cost-saving cola. It's cheaper. That is, as long as you can still find it. Mickey D's first test drove dollar drinks over the summer of 2008 and it became a year-round promotion in 2017. But as of January 2022, the head honchos at McD's HQ permitted franchisees to dump the dollar drinks deal down the drain. Citing shrinking profits, restaurant associations in 16 of McDonald's major markets around the USA immediately dropped the deal, and that number has been creeping up ever since in favor of pushing the one, two, three dollar menu. We need the money. Pizza Hut. No, not Pizza the Hut. You can talk. Actor Craig Robinson often reminds us that no one out pizzas the hut, which might be why they've been ahead of the curve on the cost-cutting initiatives. We're all familiar with the five bucks, five bucks, five bucks promotion, but when it originally debuted, it was known as four bucks, four bucks in 1990. The deal returns from time to time, but Pizza Hut also experimented over the years with flat rate pricing on build your own dessert bars and all you can eat buffets before the company began closing hundreds of dine-in locations in 2014 as it moved to a takeout and delivery based model. It's over! You're old school! They eventually moved to a more permanent pizza price cutter too, bringing out the $5 flavor menu in 2016. $5 items included a medium pizza, Wing Street Wings, two Hershey's desserts, and breadsticks, and expanded by two in 2018, adding Cinnabon mini rolls and stuffed garlic knots. It turns out pizza doesn't have to come from a microwave to come at a good price. The good cheap stuff. <laughs> Looking for more? Just tap or click another video. First time here? Then leave us a comment, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell.